Hey, I'm Mike Cook and this is Best Paper Watch, a video series about award-winning research at FDG 2023. This video contains spoilers for Boyfriend Dungeon and some discussment of harassment and stalking. This video is about the paper The Constraints of Cozy Games, Boyfriend Dungeon and Consent in Queer Play by authors Anne Sullivan, Mel Stanfill and Anastasia Salter. This paper examines the indie dating action RPG Boyfriend Dungeon, as well as the backlash against its plot and the response from its developers. Boyfriend Dungeon is a mashup of the dating sim genre and hack and slash RPGs, released in 2021 by Kit Fox Games. Players meet cute people and one cat around town while looking for love, and these same people, as well as the cat, transform into weapons to help them delve into dungeons and fight monsters. Prior to the game's launch, it was often featured alongside games with a cozy vibe or on game news networks such as Wholesome Games. However, after the game's launch, its core plot, where one of the characters stalks the player and harasses them over the course of the game, became a point of contention with fans who felt it had blindsided them, despite the game carrying a content warning. In this paper, the authors explore the complexities of this game's anticipated launch, the fallout from the backlash that led to developers making changes, and the issue of whether queer developers, studios, or games are held to different standards than others. This paper functions both as a useful chronicle of the game's launch, as well as an important critique of the role that Boyfriend Dungeon played in game culture as a visible and successful queer game. The paper's analysis brings together many different sources and perspectives to give the full picture of the story, including discussing the game's Kickstarter funding and its relationship with its fanbase, as well as the follow-on impact on queer game developers. Ultimately, it asks really important questions about the kinds of stories that game developers are able to tell, and what an emphasis on being cosy can sometimes do for the games that we make. Thanks for watching this bite-sized paper summary. You can find this paper in the Games Criticism and Analysis track at FTG 2023, presented on Wednesday morning. And to see this paper in print, along with all of the other research at this year's Foundations of Digital Games conference, go to fdg2023.org.